What's up everybody, Sean here from Air Photography. So today I'm gonna to do a quick demonstration of the next gen advanced return to home of the Mini 5 Pro. This new return to home was first introduced on the Air 3S and then again on the Mavic 4 Pro. With it, the drone will build a real-time map on its outbound flight that allows it to traverse extremely difficult environments using its obstacle avoidance and the real-time map that it has built. And that can be extremely beneficial if you have to take off from something like a balcony, out of a garage, or in like this situation here. It's a tree canopy all above me. So normally this would not work for return to home. Traditionally the drone would just come back to the GPS point and try and come straight down. But in this situation that just doesn't work. So we're going to put that to the test today. So I'm going to put the drone up here. Take off. Home point updated. Home point has been updated and I'm just going to fly out here. I'll just walk with it. Let's get to an opening and then uh, we'll send it for a little bit of a flight. That looks good there. And the other impressive thing is that it can do all of this without even GPS connectivity. So if you're flying and you happen to lose GPS connectivity, it'll still be able to come home and navigate to the home point safely, even in a complex environment like this. So let's uh, put the drone up. And I have to do this fairly quickly because it's starting to rain. As you can see, the rain drops out there. So we'll just send the drone out a little bit. So there we go there, we're about 200 meters away. I'm going to initiate a return, return to, home. to home. And uh, we'll let the drone come back. And it should come down into that opening that we took off from, or we launched it up from, I should say, and then go down this corridor. Landing pad is just over there. So we shall see what it does. Now it's a good idea if you're doing stuff like this, always keep an eye on it because although it's very accurate and reliable, you know, be prepared to stop it if need be. So the drone is coming down now. There it is up there. As you can see, it's now moving forward, going down the corridor. And it should go ahead and land right on the pad. And there we go there. So that was extremely impressive. As you can see, it came back to us and it came down through the opening we sent it up through and then navigated down this corridor here and uh, really impressive. So I'm going to do that test again but this time we're going to make it a little bit more complicated. We're going to make the drone do a hard turn there. So again I'm going to put the drone up here Take off. and uh, up. I'll just walk with it while we send it out to the opening. Now as mentioned as we're flying out here, it's building a real-time map of its environment. So that looks good there. So again, now we'll send the drone up. And uh, we'll just send it a ways. So that looks good there. So let's initiate a return to home again. Return to home. So now, it's the same as the first test. But now we have to go all the way down to the end of the corridor down there and then make a hard left if it wants to land where it took off from. So we'll see how it does. And if you look at the green line there, it does kind of show up making that left, so it should work in theory. But uh, we will soon find out. So it's right above us right now. I'm gonna stand out of the way just so I don't uh, confuse it, thinks I'm an obstacle. And there it is there.
Now it should go down the path, and yep, there it goes. We'll just follow it along as it uh, navigates this area. So here is where it has to make its hard left. And there it goes around the bend. And there it is right above the landing mat. So absolutely incredible. It was able to come down through the opening. We sent it out through way down there, come down this path here, make a hard left, and then land it exactly right on the pad. So that can be very beneficial. Like I said, if you have to take off from a balcony, uh, you're in an area with a lot of obstacles, you know the drone is going to be able to build a map and be able to navigate even through complex environments. Now I am gonna work on a more detailed return to home tutorial for those who are brand new to the Mini 5 Pro and wanna learn a little bit more about how it works and some of its safety features. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.